Hello and welcome back to the channel. I'm Hopper. Today I'm going to be talking to you about my sleep system that I'll be using on my 2023 Appalachian Trail through hike. Is this it? No. Keep watching. For those of you that have been watching, you probably realize I had some issues with my current sleep pad setup after some of my practice hikes and then also just kind of testing out. So sometimes I, you know, I just sleep on the floor. What I found is that my quilt is great. So this is an Enlightened Equipment uh, Revelation 10 degree quilt, 850 fill. This is a large, excuse me, long wide. So the quilt was fine. That's not a problem. But what I was really struggling with is actually the sleep pad. You can probably tell I'm a little bit wider, kind of a bigger guy. So I'm almost six feet tall, I weigh about 250 pounds, and finding a pad that fits you properly is kind of a challenge. So I went with, uh, initially, this is the Thermarest NeoAir X-Therm. This is the large uh, pad. So it's 77 inches long, and at its greatest width is 25 inches, which is, I mean, that's, that's a large pad. Um, but what I found when I was sleeping is my feet were constantly coming off or I just kind of felt constrained because like I'm trying to stay on this on this pad. And I tried multiple nights and just could not get used to it. I also initially went and bought, this is a Nemo Philo pillow. This was my initial purchase. I was like, man, I want something that's good, that's comfortable, that's kind of warm. Uh, so this is a nine ounce pillow that has a nice thick pad. Um, I believe it's, it's about 17 inches long. Um, so it's a good size pillow for, for camping, but it's nine ounces. And I also found is that even though it's big, I was still struggling like at night. So these things, they had to go. After realizing that there was no way I could do the entire Appalachian Trail sleeping on that pad and with that pillow, I started doing more research and luckily, it kind of coincided with the time that uh, Thermarest was coming out with its new sleep pad. So, let's just say I upgraded. And this is what I got. So this is the Thermarest NeoAir X-Therm NXT Max. So the Max kind of indicates that it's going to be their rectangular pad. Um, so the Thermarest NeoAir X-Therms are gone. They're, they're no longer made. This is the new product from Thermarest. So, whereas the other pad was a 6.9 or had a 6.9 R value, this has a 7.3. Uh, the other pad was a two and a half inch uh, depth. This is a three inch, so you're getting a little bit more padding. That pad that I had was the mummy shape. They actually did make the rectangular in the X-Therm. Um, I just wanted to try the mummy to save a little bit of weight. So that pad that I am no longer using came in at 22 ounces. This comes in at 24. So two more ounces, I'm getting, it's a little bit thicker. It's a full rectangle, which fits my sleep style and my size a little bit better. And I like the fact that it's just a little bit deeper. So after multiple nights of sleeping on this, I have actually found it's a lot more comfortable. So I have the new pad, but I also needed a different pillow because as much as I kind of like the thickness of the other pillow, it really wasn't big enough and it was too heavy and trying to cut weight as much as possible I went back and I looked at another Nemo pillow so instead of the Nemo Philo which I had I ended up getting the Nemo Philo Elite Luxury it's a really long name for a long pillow here's the difference in length which is great because it actually kind of covers the width of the pad almost all the way. But this is four ounces versus nine. Uh, you don't get the big thick pad in there, but what I found is actually this is more comfortable for me than the big padded one was. So again, that one's out. Now I did take and put some shock cord around the, the bottom of the pillow. So you can attach this to your sleep pad and you don't have to worry about it going anywhere. I did find with when I don't have the shot cord on there, sometimes you move for the pillow and because these are slick and the bottom of the pillow is slick, that pillow goes shooting off. But I had another problem too. While the quilt is very warm, this, the fabric itself is not like that great to sleep on. Um, so trying to find like a sheet or something, 
and I found this. So this is uh, the reactor liner from Cedar Summit. Uh, you can find all these products. I've got links down below. Um, but it is just simply a, a bag liner. Now you can use this in a sleeping bag or with a quilt. Um, and this is great because it adds a little bit more warmth. They say up to seven or 14 degrees Fahrenheit. I don't know if I feel that, but it is nice to have something soft. This is easily washable. So just a little bit more added comfort. And the other thing I found too, is that when your arms are inside this, it kind of almost gives you a barrier because when, if you're laying on your back and your arms start sliding off the, the mattress, or excuse me, the sleep pad, this kind of holds you in. So uh, it is nice to have, I am enjoying that. So here's the whole sleep system that I'll be taking on the Appalachian Trail with me. The light equipment quilt, see the Summit Reactor liner, the Thermarest sleep pad, the Nemo pillow, uh, and it works great for me. It's a lot more comfortable than what I had before. Now, I am able to take back my old pillow and my old mattress pad or sleep pad, excuse me, because I bought it from REI, and REI, if you're a member, they have a really great return policy. So those are actually going back next week. Now, this whole sleep system is just over four pounds, and I've tried to find some different ways to cut weight. So like I said, I went with a, a lighter pillow, but another thing that I actually cut was this so this is a flex tail gear tiny pump and the pump is great because you can hook it up to your uh, sleep pad or to your pillow and instead of having to sit there and blow into it or use um, the, the pump sacks you can just hold this on there and turn it on now that's great in theory this is really light too by the way i think it's 3.3 ounces but it's kind of loud And I also found that with this pump, it takes me about six and a half minutes to fill up the Thermo Rest Neo Air NXT Max. God, there's so many long names, but the sleep pad. But with the pump sack, it takes me three and a half. So when you purchase your Thermo Rest uh, sleep pad, you get a pump sack with it. And at first I said, man, this, this kind of seems like a pain, but it's really easy. You just connect it open it up, put some air in there, and then you pump it down through, it fills up. It takes me about three and a half minutes, and that's not going super fast to fill this up. So it's actually three minutes faster to use this versus this, and you don't have to hear this. Going from the pump to the pump sack saved me about three minutes in uh, setup time, but it also saved me about two ounces because the pump weight versus the sack weight but I also saved about another half ounce because I didn't need another stuff sack. So this pump sack, obviously you can put other stuff in. Um, so I usually keep the extra straps for the mattress or the, the sleep pad in there and then some miscellaneous clothes, the pillow, etc. And it just saves on space and more items. So you're kind of using, you're, you're killing two birds with one stone with this. And then to save on weight a little bit more, even though it's just like a hair bit of weight, the stuff sack that came with the quilt itself, I'm no longer using. I'm just sticking this inside my pack, just jamming it down. And what I found is it's nice because you're able to fill in some of those gaps inside your pack that you couldn't before. This is it. That's the sleep system that I'll be starting out with. If you've got any comments or questions, please just uh, leave them down below. Make sure you give me a thumbs up on this. And uh, as always, if you're not already tracking, you should do so. It's just like a little button you click on it, get tracking. So thank you for watching. Dad, are you in the doghouse again? What? Are you in the doghouse again? I'm not in the doghouse. I'm practicing sleeping on my sleep system. Your sleep system is in the middle of our living room. Buddy, I need to practice for the Appalachian Trail. Can't you practice somewhere else? Like no, this bed? is where I'm gonna sleep. Now go to bed.